You're watching Blowout TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it. This will notify you once we drop a new video. Thank you. CNN has published its findings from an independent investigation into the Lake Itoge shooting incident on October 20. CNN shared footage of what appears to be soldiers shooting at the protesters of hashtag NSAS who gathered at the toll gate to press on their demands for the end of SARS and the brutality of the police. In its investigation, CNN spoke to a man, Elisha Sunday, whose brother Victor was killed in a shooting incident on October 20th. The media house also talked to some of the protesters who were on the scene when, when the shooting took place. They are sad that the troops actually fired shots at them. The media house also tracked the bullet shells seen at the toll gate and the companies that have supplied weapons to the Nigerian army since 2005. We call Nigeria attracted the global attention as the military stormed the Lake Ito Gate where the hashtag NSAS protesters gathered and fired gunshots. Governor Sowo stated in a press conference shortly after the incident that no sitting governor controls the rules of the military's involvement. On October 26, the governor gave CNN an interview in which he claimed that only two deaths from the incident had been reported. He added that the following day he visited the scene and couldn't find blood stains. The Nigerian army took over its Twitter handle on the day of the incident to refuse claims that its personnel were at the scene of the incident. <music> President Mamadou Bari guaranteed Nigerians that he would do anything to avoid the repeat of the October 2020 hashtag NSAS protest. This assurance was given by Bari at the meeting of the National Security Council the 17th of November. The President announced that appropriate stakeholders, including young people, would be taken along to prevent the replay of the hashtag NSAS protest in the region. Mohamed Dingyadi, the Minister of Police Affairs, briefed journalists after the meeting on the President's stance. The governor of the state of Gombe, Alaji Inuwayaya, presented a car and the amount of 2 million naira to a 50 year old man, Dairu Buba. Because that Buba narrated how people mocked him for trekking from Gombe to Abuja to celebrate the results of President Mamadou Buhari's 2015 presidential election. Buba is currently seeking treatment for a condition that formed after his exercise. Buba, who had previously asked for a means of livelihood and shelter, said he was overwhelmed by the government's action, adding that the gift would be very well used. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Kindly comment and share. We drop new videos daily. Thank you.